Hello and welcome to In Conversation with WLV Doctoral College. My name is Dr Deborah Curitan and I work in research and development at the University of Wolverhampton. Um, as I said in last week's vlog, uh, Ben's currently on holiday so this is going to be a monologue with uh, WLV Doctoral College instead of a conversation. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about um, those things that you need to think about before you submit your thesis and I want to talk about the questions that you should answer in your thesis. So first of all, um, the first question that you really, or the first questions that you really should be thinking about in terms of answering in your thesis is ensuring that you're answering your research questions. Now this might sound really odd but often people do this but don't explicitly state how they have answered their research questions. So uh, one of the first things that you need to check is have you made an explicit statement about how you've answered your research questions? Okay, but other than your research questions there are still a number of other questions that you need to answer. So each of your chapters in your thesis has a, a, a unique set of questions that it should be answering and I'm going to go through some of those. So your introduction should really be talking about the context of your, your research and should be answering the questions of why it's important to do this piece of research, why it's important now and why it's important to be carried out in the way that you're going to carry it out. Your introduction should be answering the questions um, of what is the gap in the knowledge, how is the gap in the knowledge um, articulated and where is that gap in the knowledge located. For some discipline areas you will also be answering the question of how have you, have you carried out your literature review. So particularly in health and well-being, in education, you often talk about the method of your literature review, what approach to your literature review that you've taken. So you should be answering that question, how have I conducted the literature review? Your method section should be answering a number of questions too. So the first and most obvious question is how you are conducting that research. But also um, it should be um, answering questions around how your research questions align to the gap in the knowledge and can you see those research questions emerging from that gap in the knowledge. Your um, methodology should also um, be answering questions around link. Is there a link between your research questions and the method um, and methodology that you are employing in your research in your particular research program? So, does the methodology allow you to fully answer the research questions, and does the method that you employ? fully allow you to answer those research questions. Your methodology should also link to um, your ontological and epistemological positions because research is all about the creation of knowledge and therefore your ontological and epistemological stances are are looking at your beliefs about reality, your beliefs about knowledge, your beliefs about the creation of knowledge and therefore there should be an alignment between your beliefs about the creation of knowledge and the methods and methodologies that you employ in the creation of that knowledge. So you should be answering a question about is there a clear link between your, your positioning and your methodological um, approaches. Your finding section should answer the question of what you found. Now for some people, um, particularly those people who are um, based more in the quantitative types of study um, and in the sciences, you will split your finding section and your discussion of those findings into two separate chapters. However, qualitative researchers quite often put those two chapters together. So, 
I'm going to address those two chapters together here. So obviously you're going to be answering the question of what you found. Um, but also um, you are going to be answering the question of why that's important. What does that add to the literature? What does that um, say that's different um, to what's already out there? So how are you adding to the field? And in doing this, you're actually locating your research within the, the wider field. You're telling your reader um, about um, what, what your research is adding to the arguments that are already present, how it's countering the arguments that are already present, how it might be confirming the arguments that are already present, but maybe from a different perspective, maybe from a different angle, so therefore providing some sort of triangulation. And then your final chapter, your, your conclusion, should really be answering the so what question. It should be telling people what is really important about the research that you are doing. Why is it important? What difference can it make? And who it can make a difference to? Okay, so this is a very, very short vlog today. Um, and I hope that it's useful. Um, if you do... Um, want to hear more from from us um, in a particular area do tell us do do put into the comments what you'd like um, myself and Ben to talk about um, but um, in the meantime it's lovely to speak to you again and I hope to see you soon bye